I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's tricky, so I like to practice. If you have a set of tiles at home, so can you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Two, one. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll be player one for the first random pull. So we'll get 28 tiles. Then we'll be player two and we'll get 27. And then we'll be player one again with 28 tiles. We have three jokers, a pair of flowers, west and south with a pair of wests. We have a red dragon, and in cracks we have one, two, five, seven, nine, pairs of twos and fives. In bams, we have two, three, six, seven, nine, pair of threes. In dots, we have one, two, four, six, eight, and a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I think I would play the 2468 pair hand and then big odds. I think this is how I would play it. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. We're light here. Twos are challenging, so this will be a challenge because of the year hands. Here we have five, seven, nine potential. Maybe the third hand down, or if we get ones and threes, we could switch to little odds. So either little odds or big odds. There is an odd pair hand so we could maybe switch to two, four, six, eight in one suit and then play the odd pair hand. One, three, five, little odds. Or five, seven, nine, big odds. I think I would leave my options open, but I think I would definitely play a pair hand, either even or odd, and then switch to the corresponding category for evens or odds, depending on which one comes in first. And I would discard these. So I think I would focus on the dots and that'll give this hand, these hands time to grow while discarding those tiles. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below with poll one. Look at all those cracks. We have a pair of flowers, white dragons, pair, north and south, pair of souths. For cracks, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pung of fours, pair of fives and sixes. In dots, we have three, four, seven. In bams, we have four, five, six, nine, pairs, four, six, nine. 
So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the cracks in a pair hand and then maybe consecutive run with four, five, six, or switch to two, four, six, eight if they come in. So I would keep the four, maybe. I don't think there's a two, four, six, eight with two fours in mixed suits outside the pair hand category. So I think I would still keep it though, just in case. We could even maybe keep the three, three, four, five, six, and use this for joker bait. But I think I would let these go. Build a pair hand. One, two, three, four, five, six numbers in a run. So I think I would let these go. Hold that for joker bait. There is a hand in consecutive run that uses offsuit dragons, but we have a gap. We would need the red dragons and flowers. So we have two gaps, but I think I would hold those for a little while. Play this pair hand, something consecutive, or maybe two, four, six, eight, if we get the twos and eights, big if, it would be a stretch. Start by discarding those. Push the pair hand. This hand has no gaps, three, four, five, six. That would be the second hand down. Easiest hand on the card, I think. We have two jokers, three flowers, north and east, and a south, pair of east. Here we have two, four, five, seven, eight in cracks, pairs of twos and fours. In bams, we have one, four, five, seven, eight, nine, pair of nines. In dots, we have three, four, five, eight, nine, pair, three, four, eight, nine, pair of nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on consecutive run seven through nine and then maybe push a quint. If the quint doesn't work, maybe a year hand. So I would keep the twos with the wins and play seven, eight, nine. Maybe a quint or a wind hand or year hand, and then seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. That would be the sixth hand down. Sixth hand down. Use this for joker bait, discard those. Siamese Mahjong is a great option for your in-person game, but you could play online too. When you play online, you play on a timer. So practice at home with your tiles. Try to make decisions in under two minutes. Otherwise, when you play online, the game will toss a tile for you. We don't want that to happen. 
If you need a set of tiles, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend at Gammon Village. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>